listening to the Sly One Show. Hey, boy, you're not wrong. This guy is now from Rock and Roll. Yes, they're fucking the soul. Hiding below with a hole. But listen to the radio. It's I for the Barra Show. This is the Sly One Show. Long time new podcast. A queer fucking reindeer. reindeer. Today on the show, we have a local act, an old friend of mine from the high school days. A fellow named name of Wes Hope. He just put out his full-length album. It's phenomenal and it's great. I'm going to give you a couple of them throughout the show. Also on the show today, we have the Cobain. Chicago's finest, Ramon Court. We have another local Pennsylvania band called Smiley Foot. Oh. We have another band called the Guilford Blackout. Another one of my favorites, The More. We have the band of the Month of Hounds on the Slime Show today. System of a Hate. Many, many more. It's 2012. This is the finale of the Slime Show for the year. Next time you hear from me, it'll be 2013. Hopefully, we'll still be here because the old, what is it? The Mayan calendar. It ends. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Silent Show, podunkradio.com. You can check us on iTunes, YouTube. YouTube channel is Sly One Mofo. S L I E O N E Mo M O F O Mofo. That's the YouTube channel. Check us out on iTunes. Podunk Radio chat room. Let's turn it up. This is one of my favorite bands. Everybody! He's a queer! One of my favorite bands coming up, like I said. They're out of Chicago. I believe they are opening up for the Weasel in Queer's New Year's Bash. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado on Podunk Radio, we have the Cobains. Turn it up. Happy holidays from us. Mother. The Cobains. The The shitter. The shitter. The shitter. The the shitter was full, man. Full, man. <laughs> it's full, man. It's full, man. Shitter was full! Man.
loves every day. Mommy loves everyone except for Daddy. Mommy loves everyone but Daddy. Mommy loves everyone except for Daddy. Mommy loves everyone but Daddy. Speak no evil, feel no shame. Well, I don't wanna play that stupid game. Take it to the pawn shop. I don't. Central Pennsylvania Daddy. band. They're called Smiley Foot. Daddy. Uh, band members from uh, Dick 13 and <laughs> Short Bus <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> Smiley Foot Daddy. are based out of Daddy. Hanover, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, man. Check them out. The name of the song is Mommy Loves Everyone But, but Daddy. 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 Anyway, I told you, today is the last episode on the Slide Show for the year. It's 2012, going into 2013. Well, holy Daddy. shit. Well, I graduated back in 1996. God damn, you old we nigga. Grew up, I grew up in the hills of Perry Man. County here in central Ooh. Pennsylvania, I guess you could say. And there's not much for a young person to nope, do. So you not can either, all, like, man. You know, kip towels, hump sheep. Pass the sheep. Uh, you know, do drugs. Lambert. Play music, Lambert. play sports. I don't know, that kind of stuff. So a lot of us Rust. went our various ways. Well, I did the punk rock thing, and a friend of mine, <laughs> Quayton's friend, he yeah. was on the soccer team with me. Soccer. He's a few years older, I believe. He's going to punch the coach in the face. He also stuck with awesome. music, and he has the passion and the thrive. And is Mr. Heikenfeld? one of the best musicians Fuck in you, the man. area. And doesn't get the rec- recognition for it. Recon- now, recon- I believe... Recognition. People are gonna be like, "Eh, Sly was, you know, is always hey, punk rock or rock and roll, blah blah blah." What's he doing? Well, Kill you got yourself, to Justin. pay your respect and show yeah. and like be able to recognize talent when you see it. So, for lack of a better word, you need to tune into this and you need to listen. This is a friend of mine. His name is Wes Hoke. Okay, Wesley Hoke, Central Pennsylvania. He just put out his first album. This first song no. I'm going to give you is kind of close to my heart. His heart. And it's hard. I will tell you more about it afterwards. I ain't gonna lie to you, it made me cry. Get a tissue. Made me think. No, it didn't. I have much respect for Mr. West Hoke. This one's called Mr. Brownback. This is Podunk Radio on the Slyon Show. Turn it up. All right. West Hoke.
so alive Don't stop that burning fire Turn it up, turn it out That's what we were all about Never had a reason Just like I feel it when we play Knew the man, knew his name You're quick to blame, that's such a shame Is it our lives from time to time We don't feel satisfied He did sin, but don't be all You're looking at me when you take your fall But we all live and die It's just a matter of how and why He had that feeling song. Terrific. This song, Mr. Brownback, hit so close to home, it made me probably an emotional mess for about an hour after I heard it when he released it. Such a beautiful song, it makes me like have a loss of words. Like I said, it's close to home. Mr. Brownback was a friend of mine, a friend of his, a friend of many. Um... Like most of us, we were lost when we were younger. A lot of us were into drugs. A lot of us couldn't get control of the drugs. And we lost a lot of good people. One of them, pe- one of them great people was Mr. Brownback, better known as Arius. Uh, Arius has a beautiful daughter who, thank heavens or your higher power, that she is doing as well as she's doing and has a great family back, backing her. Aries' his baby's mother, I was actually married to her, Sarah. So you need to really think what I'm saying is Aries and this Sarah girl had a child. Aries overdosed, passed away. I think it was about two years ago, not even. Sarah, my ex-wife, Aries' his baby's mother, also passed away of a drug overdose. 
It's just, it's just like an emotional roller coaster all over, and this song just makes it. It doesn't make it right. It just helps the healing process for many, and it's a very beautiful song, Wes. You know, I could sit here and talk for days about those two, and how you know I kind of felt bad. But this happened, this blah blah blah, and all that crap. But I love both those human beings like they were brother and sister to me. I wish they were both here. Anyway, Wes, it's beautiful, man. This album is beautiful. And we're going to play another song by Wes Hoak. I'm looking at the sound, the uh, track listings right now. And I believe this one, let's uh, slow it down so we don't get all emotional. Let's listen to Wishing Well. This is Wes Hoke. Turn it up on the Sly One Show on Podunk Radio. Well, we're back. Sly One here on PodunkRadio.com. You can catch me on YouTube, iTunes, all replays. Just keyword, The Sly One Show, and have a fucking field day. Our featured artist this week is Wes Hoke. Wes Hoke is based out of central Pennsylvania. What an artist he is, ladies and gentlemen. A diamond in the rough. 
if I do say my, so myself there, stuttering buffoon. Uh, Wes Hook is a singer-songwriter from central Pennsylvania. He blends a variety of different musical styles into his diverse but unique sounding original music. He has been playing guitar since the age of 13, has been writing songs, playing in bands, and performing live since the age of 16. Well, Mr. Hoke believes music can be the most positive form of media, and I happen to believe him. Uh, most positive form of media. Anything you see, hear, commercial, movie, whatever, they always have music in the background to get your goddamn attention, and they use it for media. Well said. Allowing an open-ended message that can be delivered to a, to a diverse crowd of listeners. Now that's something you really gotta you gotta try to tune into there, people. Diverse crowd of listeners. You guys can't just be stuck in a rut. I mean, I love punk rock through and through, and it's one of the best things. I mean, you know, I live it. That's what I do. I promote it. I push it. But music is music. If it gets my foot tapping, I enjoy it. Now, you, you can sit here and say, fuck you, do all that, blah, 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 and be one of them hipster snob motherfuckers. Oh, no, man, this band is too cool, man. You, 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 don't, you never heard of them, and that makes it cool. Well, fuck you. I mean, even when you go to listen, like if you happen to turn on the radio because you're fumbling for a CD or your iPod or, you're, you know, you're, you're trying not, no one else is in the car and you're actually listening to the radio and you'll never admit it. That kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you'll, and you got some goddamn R&B channel on. And you're like tapping your feet. And you'll never admit this to anyone. You're tapping your foot and you're like, hmm. Music is music. You know, most of these hip hop artists, blah, 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 they are buying, purchasing, you know, their songs, the rhythm sections of these beats and whatnot from other, you know, musicians the world over. And people need to get their, their dues. Our featured artist of the week pretty much summed it up right there in his bio, man. You know, you got to try to reach a diverse crowd, not not try to just reach like certain certain cr crowd. Like you know, a lot of us punk rockers try to push our music to other punks, and like, what the fuck, dude? We're all broke. How can Joe Sh Schmo over here buy my album when I can't buy his because I'm trying to record mine? You got to try to reach the diverse crowd to open up the ears of others, and everyone needs to pay it forward. Everyone should tell everyone about two bands they haven't heard of, and they should do the same, so on and so forth. And this, man, the world would be a, a much better place, man. I'm sick of hearing about school shootings, fucking kids getting raped, coaches humping their kids. I'm sick of it. Stop putting the perp in the media. It makes me fucking sick. Every, everyone wants to have their name t stamped in time. So if you're for some pathetic fucking scumbag, douchebag, pedophile, how is he going to do it? I'm going to go fuck some kid in the ass. Okay, now you're known forever. Stop putting his name in the media. Worry about the victims. It's bullshit. Sick of it. So anyway, I'm sorry I went on a tie rant there. Uh, this is Podunk Radio, our featured artist... Of the day is Wes Hoke, and I believe we're going to play another song by, um, what should we, Air? I believe it's called A Devil on Both Shoulders. If I have it wrong, I'm sorry, but let's turn up. This is Wes Hoke, Devil on Both Shoulders, on the Slide One Show. Everybody's got a young little devil, and they got an angel on its own. But every time that I look in the mirror, all I see is the devil on my shoulder.
this way And maybe I could learn to love again Maybe I could feel the love I bring Maybe I could feel the love within Maybe I could learn to love again What's your favorite band of the that released an album this year? Post it in the chat room now. Oh, Kevin O is gonna be calling in my buddy in band me. We're gonna talk trash on you all. Yeah. Heather's gonna come in, we're gonna do a bit. Sex with the sly ones. Yeah, this is a lot of show. Cause I don't ever. 
All right, we are here at Sly One Studios in Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. Featured artist West Hoke is bringing in 2013 with us here at the Sly One Show. West's new album has just been dropped. It's called Charlie Don't Surf by West Hoke himself. So far, we heard Mr. Brownback wishing well and devil on both shoulders. True artist West Hoke, make sure you check him out on Reverb Nation and Facebook. Purchase his album, support your local music. After West, we heard the Guilford Blackouts from Indiana. On a future episode, we will have the Guilford Blackouts song doing an interview and helping them push their newest release. And I believe that was recorded and produced by Joe Queer himself. After the Guilford Blackouts, we had the Bumpus Hounds based out of Chicago, Pennsylvania. Up and coming band. In Chicago, my, 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 my wife just said in Chicago, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Chicago, Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Chicago, Illinois. That's that West Perry education right there. All right, up next we have the Queers in Casey's Trunk, and then we're going to have Kevin O on the phone and Sex with the Sly Ones bit and much, much more good underground music. We love you. Happy holidays from the Sly One Show. Turn it up on Poe Dunk Radio.
Hey, it's Justin. And Heather. How's everyone doing today? Okay, this is the sex with the sly ones. Uh, it's what, it's 2012 going into 2013 oh, if we make it, it that far, huh? You think the uh We may hit Doomsday on Friday. Doomsday. You the might world not even, is coming to an end. You might not even hear this episode. Oh. You could be dead, burning up in a fiery Burn. abyss of hellfire. Okay, so today on the sex with the sly ones, what are we doing? We are talking about New Year's resolutions when it comes to sex. Sexier resolutions. Sexual resolutions for the new year. So last night on Facebook, I posted for people to give me their New Year's resolutions when it came to sex. And I think only one person responded, and that was our friend, Mr. Brian Defiance from the Bloody Muffs. The Muffs. And he just said, "Lots of it." <laughs> and then I said, "And lots of places." And I said, "And lots of places." So sexual resolutions. I mean, if you were actually going to make one, what would yours be? To have more sex. Because Mr. Sly One is like a woman. He's always like, I don't feel good tonight. My liver I'm hurts. I'm tired. My side hurts. I'm sleepy. I don't feel good. My belly hurts. Every excuse in the book to not have it. Right. And I'm always like, you don't ever love me. And she cries. <laughs> so it says, be more spontaneous. Do things on a whim. What it's time you started doing things on the whim. Let's do things on a whim. It says... Take your pants off. Now I know that being busy usually Take results love. in having to plan for sex. Plan. But there has to be at least a few occasions where you're able to come on your girl. <laughs> oh, come on to your girl. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Come on to your girl on a whim. Make a commitment to not just have sex with her spontaneously. So isn't that like planning to try to be spontaneous? It seems like it's like defeats the purpose. It's like an oxymoron. Um, it says, make a commitment to not just have sex with her spontaneously, but kiss her passionately. Bazinga. Rub her shoulders and flirt with her for no reason. Donkey punch. Her. Isn't the reason so she'll have sex with you? Yes. Um, their second tip is try new positions. There's missionary, doggy, and her on top. But wait, there's more. So much more. From variations on the same old thing to positions that you may need to up your flexibility factor for, use this year to try different maneuvers. Try it. Try new maneuvers. The third resolution that you should have is to try new locations. Uh, what's the weirdest place you ever had sex? I've gotten caught by the cops twice in my life having sexual relations. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't know. What? Where's the weirdest place I ever had sex? Um, hmm. on my parents' couch <laughs> while they were home with. Take a guess who was it with? Um, Herbert. With you, sir. Oh, me. Yeah, that was weird. First time I ever met her parents. They're like, we're going to bed. We're like on some old crusty futon. That that's probably been used and abused by every sibling in the house for for sexual relations. Maybe that's why they don't like you. Probably. Dad probably walked out to get a cup of milk or something and was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, uh, I mean, if you were going to make like like a real sexual relation, what would it be? Like, like Mr. Sly wants to have a child, so... But that's not really... That's like a life resolution. That's not like a sex resolution because you just have to have more sex. Look, it says here, try new locations. Try outdoor sex. Try the bathroom. Subway in Carlisle. Try that. Okay, the bathroom, the shower is like not easy to have sex in the shower. No. Maybe if you're like maybe, maybe two dudes Our something. shower is like super small though. Like doesn't our shower feel like it's like really like narrow? Yeah, it's not like them showers in prison. This one's really small. You're an asshole. <laughs> you have a lot of sex in the prison shower, did you? I, I did throw the I did throw the zestfully soap on the floor and have it. Can you Get zestfully clean. Pick that up, bitch. Stop calling me that. I hate Stop that. Stop calling me bad. So let me ask page you. Page two. There's a page two. Oh, there is a page two. You're bad at this. This is what I know. Sexual navigate. relations. All right. The fourth sex resolution is. 
talk more sex. Talk more. It's pretty disappointing, but very true. Spank Most people don't discuss sex. And that's fine. Spank it. But that's if you're why not, we're doing it for you. If you're not talking about sex with the person you're having it with, that's pretty sad. Now, they're not suggesting that you get into the technicalities of sex, but you should definitely discuss what you like, what she likes, how often, where, and why. Throw your leg over my shoulder, for Christ's sakes. Otherwise, how will you or she ever know how to keep the other happy? I don't know. Number five? Get. Kinky, yay! <laughs> From something as mild as watching porn together oh. to something as what... Oh. I was fucking reading that dick. He was reading that. I'm always gonna go find some free porn. <laughs> From watching porn together to something as wild as visiting a swingers club. Oh, we know some people we who like to swing. swing hey, swingers. I think I think we know some people who who like to swing. I may have known someone. Yes, I may have seen some videos. <laughs> And I may oh, have I may it. have forwarded get them it. to many of you punk rockers. Get out there. it. She'll yeah. like that. Move dick. out of the way, dog. <laughs> She'll like that. <laughs> Move out of the way. <laughs> She'll like that dick. Yeah. Oh yeah. If, oh yeah. If, if, if you're looking for people on the Craigslist to have sex with, you may get people with hairy backs. Just so you know. Big guts. Big guts, hairy backs, and then while you record and your young woman girlfriends. having your woman get long dicked on your futon. With hey, your dog in the mix. I won't mention any names. <coughs> Fag town. <coughs> Fag town. <laughs> it says, let her dominate, then you dominate. Use tethers and blindfolds. What is this? Fifty Shades of Grey? What's a tether? A tether? Mm. We're patiently waiting for Kevin O to call. We wanted to have him do some sexual references you with us. You bastard. But he's, he's in the process. He said, I have... I'll call in a little bit. I have to call to quit my job. <laughs> Get it done. Okay, so besides oh, sexual... It says a new year of sex. So there they are. Sexual resolutions that you should adopt this year and use for the rest of your life. Okay. Finally, some resolutions you'll want to keep. What's the uh, easiest way for you to get off? I don't know. Yes, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to say, with you, bitch. Well, duh, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> position-wise, is that what you're asking? Yep. Um, me on top, I think. Me on top, you on the bottom. What do you think? I don't know. So anyway, um, let's say if you had some real resolutions, if you were going to make two 2013 resolutions and try to stick with them, what would they be? Chat room, I want to see yours posting now. Um, to make a baby. Oh, Not necessarily have the baby by the end of 2013, one. but be pregnant by December 31st, 2013. Okay, that's one. And find a good job. I don't want to work. So what are your two resolutions? My sexual, res my sexual resolutions? No, not, no. I'm, <laughs> don't make this gay. I'm serious. Uh, I would definitely not make my sexual resolutions gay. Chris Griffith. Hey, y'all. Kevin O. Kevin O. You sexy bitches. Anyway, this is uh, The no, Solid seriously. Show 2012. No, Goodbye no, no, episode. no, no. My no, we're not resolutions. done. We're not done. I want to hear real his real resolutions. Real resolutions for 2012 going into 13 would probably be try to accomplish more musically and to have a more stable lifestyle for myself, my wife, and my daughter. Does that include a baby? That could possibly include a baby, as long as I can do the music stuff, and then we're a-okay. Okay. Well, you have a hard time, hard time feeding a beta fish on your own, let alone... No, I baby. feed that fucking beta fish every day. I'm the only one who feeds the Like, what's the beta wrong fish? with the baby? It's blue. We didn't have a smurf. You're a dick.
This is Sly One. We're back. We're back. We're back. We heard the Groovy Gullies. Better known now as Kepe Gully. Groovy Gullies uh, running with Bigfoot. Uh, up next, we have Thomas D.A. Moray with a song called Spike Vane. This is the Sly One Show, Podunk Radio. We're saying goodbye to 2012. PodunkRadio.com. Thomas D.A. Moray, Spike Vane on the Sly One Show. Let's turn it up. spike into my vein It nearly drove me insane But now I do this Hey! I used to stay up every night I used to get in lots of fights But now I do this Hey! Some big rock star Because it does this I put a spike into my vein It nearly drove me insane But now I do this, hey Mr. Thomas D.A. Moray. More, 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 On the more. Sly oh, One more, motherfucking show. Oh, this is in the Dillsburg studios. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Here at PRP oh, Radio oh. on podunkradio.com. The Sly One Show. We Thomas D.A. Moray. Uh, he has Steve and Jim as his backing musician. Jim Tierney yeah. is the infamous recording legend yeah, from New Hampshire, from the Electric Cave. Hope you're feeling better, Jim. Feel better. TDA, Thomas D'Amore, T- is a T- folk punk style TDA. artist. Check him out today on Facebook. We're going to get back into our featured artist here on the Sly One Show. Rock, singer, songwriter, pop artist, Wes Hoke, based out of central Pennsylvania. His new release called Charlie Don't Surf. Check out Wes, W-E-S. Don't surf. H-O-K-E, West Hook on Reverb Nation, Facebook. This next song by him is called Hurry Hurry. Okay, guys, turn it up without further ado. My buddy West Hook, rocking his face off. Melt it away, buddy. Turn it up on the Sly One Show. Melt it away.
Wow, Wes hit it wow. there. Hurry, hurry. That song was rocking, man. Hurry. Wes is bringing back rock and roll to its roots. Yeah, Way to go. I'm going to read his bio one more time. Wes Hoke is a singer, songwriter from central Pennsylvania that blends a variety of different musical styles into his diverse but unique sounding original music. If you don't respect music the way he's giving it to you, you are not a fan of music. You're not a you fan know, at all. If you like all. punk rock, you gotta like this. If you like rock and roll, you, you have to like this. Even if you're a goddamn head banger. Head banger. You gotta enjoy West Oak. Check out his album, Charlie Don't Surf. You Charlie can check him out on surf. Reverb Charlie, Nation. Charlie Don't Backslash West Hoke. W-E-S-H-O-K-E. We're gonna play one more <clears throat> by Mr. West Hoke right now on the Silent right Show. Now. I believe we're going to go into a right tune now. called Living Large. Let's uh -oh. turn on, turn up Living Large on the Sly One Show on Podunk oh Radio. We're saying oh goodbye to 2012, oh and we're living large. Oh turn it up. This is the one about the thing in my pants. <laughs>
been living long, I've been living long, I've been living long, I've been living here. Once again, that was Wes Hoke. He is our featured artist of the show. We're saying goodbye to 2012. You can check out Wes Hoke on Reverb Nation. Also, if you're in central Pennsylvania, make sure you uh, Google his name, see if he's playing out ever. Uh, sometimes he goes out and does open mic night. I know he likes to get out there and play and perform. Hell of an artist, hell of a guy. Check him out, look him up, and say hi. Uh, we're going to move on in the show. We have a, a band I believe Wes would even appreciate. Um, his name is Tommy Mills. Tommy Mills and the Jade Amenity out of California. At one time, when we did an interview with Tommy, he said and brought up that Richard Ramon was going to play drums on the tour. I don't know if that fell through, if that's still going on, or what's going on. Either way, this guy's album is phenomenal. you got to check this out. Now... A note on the Richard Ramon. Richard Ramon is staying busy. We did an interview with him uh, nearly a year ago, and you can check that out on our old shows, where you can check them out at prpradio.wordpress.com or the Sly One Mofo channel on YouTube. We had a lot of great musicians through the year. All thanks to Chris Griffith on Podunk Radio for letting us air our shows here as well. Thank you all to the listeners. You're all great. We're going to go into the next song. I'm going to stop being a blabbermouth, yo. I'm a blabbermouth, Tamara. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is Tommy Mills, and the name of the song is Not to Cry. Turn up Tommy Mills and the Jade Amenity, Not to Cry, on the Sly One Show. Actually, I'm some 60-year-old dude named Raul. 